Manifesting your dreams isn't just about wishful thinking. It's about aligning your intention with actions to create the life you desire. So how do you manifest your dreams in a life full of distractions? By mastering these five core principles, you'll transform your life and business. In this video, you learn from seasoned experts who have transformed their lives through the power of manifestation. They are sharing their secrets with you. I'm Dr. Katya Rasanen, your spiritual counselor, guiding you to manifest the life you truly desire. We'll explore proven manifestation techniques featuring both powerful advice from the past episodes and fresh unreleased insights. Let's dive straight into these tips and techniques that will help you manifest your dreams. Here's the first step to manifesting more. It's to know your desire. Identifying what you truly want and why it matters to you is crucial for aligning your goals with your deeper values. So what is your desire? Think deeply about what you aim to achieve, be or have or experience in life and ensure that your desire is about 50% realistic. So part of you can truly believe that it's possible. Definitely setting intentions is huge. Okay. So I, I like to set intentions and my spirit guides give me intentions all the time. So I thought I would share a little invocation that my spirit guides gave me using one of the portals in your hands. Okay, yeah. so your fingerprints are not only your roadmap to your life and, and your best life, they are also portals to your multidimensionality and accessing that divine self, that multidimensional self within you. Okay, so they give me uh, different symbols and all kinds of stuff, which is, you know, part of what... Uh, uh, they just call it palm portal heal healing or uh, dermatoglyphic epigenetics. It's essentially taking that, uh, taking that intention and then anchoring it into the multidimensional. Okay, so uh, so first off, we need to know what the symbol is. It's called the mastery symbol, and I just drew it out here for you. So it's a it's a square inside of a circle. And then it's uh -huh. got the two lines that intersect uh, connecting the corners of the square. Okay. So this is, they told me this is the symbol for mastery. Okay. So we're going to connect to our left Jupiter finger, which is our left index finger. Okay. So this is your finger of self-knowledge. Okay. Because if we want to learn our purpose, we better know what our left Jupiter finger <laughs> to say <laughs> okay very important okay so what i want everybody to do is envision that you've got that symbol that i just showed you embedded on your left jupiter finger okay and you can go ahead and just place that finger on your heart okay so now we're going to open up the portal all right so i want you just to take a deep breath in and repeat after me, left Jupiter, portal open so that I may claim my divine birthright of inner strength and self-knowledge. I choose to now anchor the full support of the universe in all dimensions, my abilities, to be a master manifester and see tangible results in my third dimensional realm of existence. Thank you, and so it is. And then take another deep breath in and just feel that connect with your heart. Feel it connect with the cosmic heart. Feel the strength of yourself, your divine self, your divine knowingness that you got this. You can do this. <sighs> and 
And then when you're ready, you can open your eyes and just release your hand from your heart. <sighs> so that's a process. <laughs> okay. So they're always giving me these invocations, these intentions, and they say it's very, very important that we, because we have free will, we're here on earth, we have free will. It's one of the, it's one of the aspects of purpose. So we want to anchor in stuff that is in the highest alignment, the highest potential, the highest path to purpose, as you would say. I mean, that's that's what it's all about. And if we anchor in stuff that is, uh, it, it's harmful, right? Okay, so we look at it from the opposite. It's like you're anchoring in, uh, I'm stupid. I'm not good enough. Oh, who am I to do that? Oh, that's for everybody but me. Oh, I don't know if this works. You know, that's doubt. Okay, all of those things, that's anchoring in into your field. Every time you think that, every time you believe that, every time you know that. So we have to like cut all of that out and start really being intentional and purposeful in our thoughts, our feelings, our actions, and our responses. And you have to become a master at those things. And that's how you become a master manifester. The definition of the soul alignment is that is that um, you've removed everything in the way of of your heart's desire. You've removed everything in the way of being who you're here on this planet to be at this time. Like you're not here by accident. You are here very intentionally right now. This is a very important time. So a, alignment removes everything in the way so that you are completely um, aligned. <laughs> like there's like, it's just, it's just true. It, it's like for whether you can align for a goal, like a financial goal or a love goal or whatever kind of goal you want to. And um, the process alignment is a process of removing your inner resistance, removing your doubt, removing anything in the way of it absolutely being true. And when you are done with the process, you know, it's true. You don't question it mm -hmm. and you can feel in your bones that it's true. And, and, and when you're in that state of, of, of profound knowing, what you desire is available right there. Practice tuning into their body and notice how it feels. And you can just uh, put your hands on your chest area, your stomach or somewhere on your body to, to bring your awareness down from your head down to your body and just be curious and, and just ask yourself, how, how do I feel inside? Is it pleasant or unpleasant? And if you find a spot that is unpleasant, I mean, if it's pleasant, enjoy it, of course. But if it's unpleasant, just be curious. Say, hmm, what is going on here? Did something trigger this? Is it a habit? What is it? What do I feel inside of me? And just be curious. Don't try to figure things out. And whatever shows up, just accept it. I accept to have a heavy knot in my stomach right now. That is a bit, is a great start. Mm. And, and not judging it as, as wrong for being there. Just accept it, embrace it. And you can even thank it for giving you awareness. Because even though it feels unpleasant, it's not your enemy. It is a friend, but a friend in disguise. And also be grateful about your money because what you're grateful for and what you focus on will actually have more. Come join that. 